working. Hey everyone, it's Eric Wen, and today we're talking about my good friend Audrey, or online Audrey Ember. Before Cody, before No Small Creator, before I had actually posted any vlogs at all, Audrey was my main YouTube friend. She is really, really, really good at not worrying what other people think, not worrying about subs or views, not worrying about fitting in a YouTube box. She just creates whatever she wants to because she wants to. I don't really know, like, how exactly she's like this, but we all have a lot we can learn from her. Today we can talk about three mini stories all involving Audrey and something that she taught me about being original, being self-conscious, and just saying goodbye. Okay, being original. I actually met Audrey for the first time in a video before I met her in real life. When I first saw Audrey in this video of her in a tree talking to the camera, I remember I was like, whoa, what is this? Let's pump the brakes, this is super up close and personal. But a couple of videos later, I had subscribed. And it wasn't because she had the most high quality transcendent content on YouTube. It was because she was killing the game at being herself and sharing that online. She is exactly the same in her videos as in real life. She is exactly the same in her podcast as in real life. Her content is awesome and strong because it's her. That's the secret. She, just with who she is, is enough to carry her entire channel. This is probably the most important thing that I've learned since starting YouTube. The most original piece of your content is hands down 100% you. Think about it. You don't subscribe to Casey because of his tech reviews or his drone flying or his airplane seat reviews. Well, at the end of the day, people keep tuning in because they want to see him. With all that competition out there, with YouTube being such a crowded space, the only thing you can count on is that there's only one you. That is the asset. Gina said it best, um, we are our own niches. When I first met Audrey, I wasn't sure yet if I wanted to vlog. YouTube felt like this thing that might not let me in. If I was original enough, if I was too introverted, if I was loud enough, if I was charismatic enough, if I was interesting enough. Audrey, on the other hand, has repeatedly short-circuited that question, am I original enough, with her answer, yeah, you are original enough. Simple. From chatting with her, the real question I realized I should be asking myself is, am I letting myself be enough? If all audiences are asking for are for you to be you, if there really is a space on YouTube for introverts or for girls who talk about cameras or for guys who talk about their feelings, that means that all of my excuses actually were more indicative of me not being comfortable with myself. Not that YouTube or the algorithm or any of that was holding me back. Are you letting yourself be enough? Okay, part two, being self-conscious. So at the end of the school year, I was filming this video with Audrey in the middle of this giant lawn. It involved a lot of Christmas lights. And at the end, Audrey had to be wrapped up, like head to toe, in Christmas lights and she was supposed to run across the lawn. We were having a blast, it was super fun, no one was interrupting us. Until at the end, this group of college kids sort of came over and they were high. Um, but they were also definitely sort of laughing at us. And when that happened, I sort of tensed up and I felt sort of protective and hyper aware of the fact that like, whoa, Audrey is in the middle of this giant lawn, literally lit up like a Christmas tree, not able to move, not able to hide. And there's some random strangers laughing at her. I don't think there's any way that at 19 I would have reacted or processed that very well. But Audrey, did, like, she didn't react. I mean, there's always that, th like, wow, they probably think we're dumb, but at the same time, I don't really care if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I am self-conscious, but when it comes to videos, I'm not letting some stupid people walking by stopping my video. But if you want to make a video, like your passion video is like up here, and your caringness for what other people think is like down here, I'd have to just be like, I'm gonna choose this one. Got away what your passion is for creating versus the obstacles, but that's like self-doubt or whatever. For me, like, the passion to create is like stuck to the roof versus, oh, but this person, they might think I'm weird. Yeah. You kind of just have to weigh them and be like, that's what more important to me, so I'm going to do it and get over the voice being like, don't do it. If it is important enough to you, you will find a way. If it's not, you will find an excuse. Literally <laughs> on my wall, right behind the camera. <laughs> she does the same level thing with the influence of her substance use. She keeps it here and she keeps her passion to create whatever she wants way up here. And so that's why when her channel exploded twice, she it didn't affect any of her content at all. That is so awesome. We need more people like that. Okay, last story. Uh, completely not YouTube related, but I, I wanted to talk about it anyway. So, 
Audrey actually transferred out of my school to continue the rest of her school on the other side of the country. And so as the school year started wrapping up, I started getting sort of bummed. I was like, geez, I'm probably not gonna see you in person ever again. Um, and getting sort of sad about that. So I carved out some time to go see her and we were hanging out, chatting, talking about YouTube like we normally do. And when it was time to say goodbye, she was so incredibly nonchalant about the whole thing. She was just like, I don't even think there was a hug or anything. She was just like, see ya. And I was like, I'm not sure when. And she was like, nah, we're friends. I'm sure I'll see you again. And I have this thing where I really don't believe it in saying goodbyes. And I was like, no melancholy, no nothing. Just, nah, we're friends. I'm sure I'll see you again. Audrey is remarkable for how nonchalant she is about the things that normally get in our heads, hold us back, or like throw us off course. Unless she's an alien, Audrey also has insecurities just like the rest of us. But she sets such an awesome example because she's so, so good at not letting that ever affect who she is, what she wants to do, what she wants to create, and what she likes. No excuses. The most original piece of your content is you. Turn your passion for creating up and don't let, you know, you being self-conscious or your subs or your views ever even get close to stopping you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. Let's keep creating together. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. I'm Eric Wen, uh, just a young adult, pumped and passionate about sharing stories to encourage and hopefully give you an opportunity to think more deeply. If you're interested in seeing more of that content, hit that subscribe button or not, that's totally fine. Uh, there's a podcast that's out every single Tuesday. And guys, new friends, literally hundreds more of you uh, in the past two weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting. But most of all, I wanna get to know you guys. So leave a comment, I'll dialogue with you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. This whole thing has been very uh, crazy. <laughs> like what type of jealousy did you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously like darn it, like that's so cool. No, I'm really excited for him. Like they seemed like they got along like really